Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, December 21st, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Let's begin with the obvious good news. The world has not ended, nor do I think it will end any time during this day. I have every intention of being here on Monday to talk about my favorite medium, television. I will say this. It is very windy and rainy, but we are still here Now, let's go to TV trivia. I have a trio of items I would like to discuss. We will start with All in the Family on this day in 1974 celebrated its 100th episode with a one-hour retrospective special hosted by Henry Fonda. In 1983, NBC St. Elsewhere tackled a subject that was considered then taboo, which was AIDS. And then in 1984, then-President Gerald Ford and his wife Betty made a cameo appearance on Dynasty on ABC. They appeared at some kind of a ball they were having. Now let's head to current day television, beginning with a mid-season reality competition on CBS called The Job. This comes from Mark Burnett and Michael Davies. It will feature a group of contestants competing for their dream job. The network CBS has announced The Job will debut in the Friday 8 o'clock hour, effective on February 8th. It replaces Undercover Boss, which will return on April 19th. Now, remember, Undercover Boss came in late in the game in November to replace CSI New York, which moved back to 9 o'clock, which replaced Canceled Made in Jersey. Got that? Now let's go to Fox. The network, as expected, has picked up So You Think You Could Dance for a 10th season coming up this summer. And I have information on today's newsletter on casting calls if you might be interested in competing. Over at the CW, the network has passed on a third season of Canadian drama, The L.A. Complex. Now, the Canadian broadcaster doing the show decided to cancel it. So it was up to the CW if they wanted to continue or not. This was a show that had a small cult following, but a very small overall audience. And the CW decided that it didn't want it anymore. Over at FX, Comedy the League has been picked up for a fifth season. The cable network has ordered an additional 15 episodes, which will bring its total episode order up to 58. And that's the difference between cable and broadcast. When you're in a fifth season on a broadcast network, by the end of the year, you normally have cracked 100 episodes. There are fewer episodes produced on cable normally. If you do not get Showtime and would like to see what is going on, the cable network will offer a pre a free excuse me preview weekend January 11th through the 13th they did this a couple of years ago i happen to think this is a very good idea you might as well sample shows if you don't get it they have a lot of good stuff Rules of Engagement, the CBS sitcom that is coming back Monday at 8.30 in February in place of Partners, is heading to cable on TBS. TBS has picked it up as a potential companion to The Big Bang Theory. This is a show, I have to give Rules of Engagement credit. For the last few years, there have been rumors circulating, and I've written this, that it was being canceled. Well, ultimately, it's it, it, it seems to have more lives than a cat and keeps coming back. There will be 100 episodes available by season end. Every Everybody is expecting Rules of Engagement to conclude once again this spring, but if there's a lesson to be learned, you never know when it comes to Rules of Engagement. Now this weekend, of course, we are just four days away from Christmas, so there's a lot of holiday programming, and no holiday weekend uh, is complete right before Christmas without a rebroadcast of classic theatrical The Sound of Music with Julie Andrews. It will air on ABC this Sunday from 8 to 11, and I do want to remind you that I will be here on Monday producing the newsletter and the video cast. Then I am on hiatus until after the first of the year. Now, because I am working from home today, I do want to bring on my best bod and my co-host, Buster Berman. Here he is. Buster, say hello to everybody. Here's my little boy who has been anxiously or patiently waiting on the sidelines as I do my video cast. So Buster and I would like to wish everybody a great weekend, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, on Monday. Signing off, Mark and Buster Berman.